Hey Realtors, welcome to another edition of Tree Pack Tuesday. You may have heard that today is a big day. It's election day. I've received a few questions from members about this election and the one in November, and I thought this video would be a helpful way to go through a few things you have on your mind. Emily from Pflugerville asked, it's election day? What election is happening in July? Well, Emily, that is a great question. There are two elections going on today, and you need to know about both of them. First is the runoff election for the March primary. That was originally scheduled to take place in May, but Governor Abbott pushed it back to July because of the COVID-19 pandemic. There's also a special election for Texas Senate District 14 to fill the seat previously held by Kirk Watson. If you live in that district, which covers most of Travis County and all of Bastrop County, be sure to cast your ballot in this important election. TREEPAC is supporting State Representative Eddie Rodriguez. Hope that answers your question, Emily. Bill from the Edge of Nowhere asks, who are the TREEPAC supported candidates on my ballot? Well, Bill, because this is a runoff and a special election, you won't be likely see many names on your ballot in general. However, TREEPAC is supporting several candidates in races across the state. Visit TexasRealtorsSupport.com, fill in your address, and you'll see the TREEPAC supported candidates on your ballot. Teresa from Circle C asked, what do I need to bring with me to vote? So Teresa, anytime you go vote, you need to make sure you have a photo ID, like your driver's license or passport. If you don't have either of those handy, bring an official document like your utility bill that has your name and address. Since we're in the middle of a pandemic, you also wanna make sure to bring a mask and some hand sanitizer to stay safe. Taylor from South Austin asked, what about the November election? Will there be any ABOR or TREEPAC supported candidates on my ballot? Taylor, I'm so glad you asked because ABOR's candidate interview and evaluation process is just starting. The exciting news is that for the first time ever, ABOR members can watch our candidate interviews on a live stream to learn more about who is running and where they stand on realtor issues. Visit abor.com interviews to check out the schedule and watch those live streams during those meetings. That's all the questions I received about election day. Don't forget to get out the realtor vote. And after you do, post your picture with your I Voted sticker in the comments below.